everyone, welcome to Weekend Box Office. Looks like Ant-Man and the Wasp official box office number for this movie is here. Also, Avatar The Way of War is still holding quite strong at the overall box office. Uh, yeah, so first we'll be looking into Ant-Man 3. So looks like Ant-Man 3 did open to $104 million at the domestic market for three-day weekend, yes. So initially, uh, on Friday, this movie was doing quite well. And on Saturday, uh, like the like the Saturday, I think this movie did also well. Like So this movie was actually expected to open $110 million because this movie did so well on Saturday. But by the Sunday, it looks like it did drop a little bit at the overall box office. That being said, Admin of the Wasp, uh, it did cost $200 million to make. So it is quite expensive movie, which is not a big deal for MCU movie, uh, but it did got rotten on Rotten Tomato score. Uh, right now it is sitting on 47% rotten on Rotten Tomato score, but the audience score is still, uh, as of today, is holding on 84%, which is, which is not bad at all. <laughs> uh, but overall, this movie, I feel like... Uh, did quite well overall at the international market because as of today it is sitting on 357 million dollar on worldwide market but uh, so this number i have it is uh, like a four day weekend you know it is a long weekend here so this number is 118 and domestic number is it is a long weekend number and uh, like four day weekend and uh, the international is $239 million and overall is $357 million. It's quite impressive because I think I heard initially it was supposed to open between $250 million or something. That is why when I saw the total international number, I thought, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So this movie probably did well as it did uh, because, you know, uh, beginning of the phase five, uh, Kevin Feige, he came out and he told everyone that Kang is very uh, important character going forward because he's supposed to be this big villain for next MCU. So for so many movies, you know, uh, so that is why I think audience heard that and people, this is a franchise, you know, people hear about that. Oh, you have to keep track of this character. Of course, you go out and see it. How is he doing in this universe? Uh, that's the testament to this number, I will say. Uh, which is like, whoa, this thing work, I guess, as of today. Uh, so this movie flop or hit, we will know by next week and how it holds up uh, over the week. Because uh, I do want to say overall, this movie, I feel like from the critic and the audience, some people are saying that the way the story told, they didn't like, which is quite important for any movies. And it did got B cinema score. Uh, which is also matter because normally MC movie, they get a bigger a, a cinema score from the audience. So this movie, I, I will say as of this week, it isn't hit. It isn't fall either. So, you know, some people try to make it look like a flop. But in my opinion, it's not a flop yet, but it's not a huge hit yet either. I could see this movie going to maybe not 700. I don't know if it can cross that higher 700. It will be hard, uh, but you know, it could do at least 600 as of today. Uh, that said, of course, uh, Avatar The Way of Water officially just crossed Titanic uh, International, like the worldwide box office number. It just crossed that number and I'm like, ha, huh, if this movie keeps going like that, uh, I feel like Avatar The Way of Water uh, will like eventually will catch up. Uh, I feel like a Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> Now you're thinking, oh, that is a long way to go. Yeah, it is a long way to go. But the thing is, this movie is still making money at the domestic market. And people who did not see this movie, you know, this is not a fun, loaded movie. You see it on opening weekend. Like, you know, Rabbit at the Way for Water is something you go and see it and experience it. So I think many people who saw the trailer and everything, they thought, I will go check it out later. That is what it looks like. Because every week it is grabbing, you know, $10 million dollars. And Disney, they are no way, like, you know, they. I think they will keep this movie for a long time, you know, all the way until summer. This is their huge brand. <laughs> Looks like all this investment they did for 21st century paying off, you know, <laughs> uh, because that is the reason, I guess, they paid for uh, Fox, uh, you know, merger. They paid so much, $4 billion they paid. 
and you know all this money is coming back through avatar yes and i guess once they start making all this x-men movie they will get uh, some of this money back too because end of the day don't forget that full three is under disney now and that movie will do like if it's good of course <laughs> it will do huge at the box office i feel like it could do <laughs> I don't know if it can do a uh, Spider-Man No Way Home number because it's, uh, it's going to be R-rated. But I think it will at least cost a billion dollars. And that's my thought on this weekend box office. Let me know in the comment what do you think about this number. And if you enjoyed this video, do watch your other videos on other topics. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time, please take care.